Hi, I'm Katie Wally, Senior Director at Asda Money. For Talk Money Week this year, we have partnered with Step Change, the UK's leading debt charity, to talk about the importance of talking about your finances. Each day for Talk Money Week, I'll be meeting with lots of different experts to talk about a range of topics, from relationships and finances to how finances can impact your health. And today we're with Jenny Wright, Regional Manager from the Money and Pension Service, to talk about the importance of educating young people and children about finances. Hi, my name's Jenny Wright and I work for the Money and Pension Service. And our vision is everyone making the most of their money and pensions. And I'm also with Andy Shaw, Debt Advice Policy Officer from Step Change, to talk about changing attitudes to borrowing. Let's get started. Do you feel young people have different attitudes towards borrowing? And why do you think this is? I don't know whether it's about a different attitude towards borrowing, but certainly young people are exposed to lots of different products than was maybe the case for the generation or two before them. If you think about things like the rise of online shopping, buy now, pay later, that sort of thing, it gives many more opportunities for young people to borrow in ways that maybe their parents or grandparents couldn't. And certainly we do see that that results in an increase in the number of young people in financial difficulty. At Step Change, year on year, we see more and more people from those younger age categories seeking debt advice. And now we're going to talk to Jenny from the Money and Pension Service. Hi, Jenny. At what age do children start understanding and developing attitudes towards money? It's important to know that children start to understand and develop attitudes to money at a very young age. And all children are different, but there are some developmental milestones that can help guide what to teach them and when. So children as young as three and four, uh, you can start talking to pre preschoolers about money from when they start to talk and ask questions when they touch things investigate and play with everything you can introduce um conversations about money at that stage moving on to children that are between seven and eight they're starting to understand the difference between needs and wants and it's a great way a great time to start talking to them about achieving some of their own wants and saving up for things and earning pocket money as well and then sort of moving through to teenagers, um, when a child becomes a teenager, their aspirations will be bigger. They'll want more stuff and it'll be more expensive as well. Uh, so they're thinking about what they're wearing. Uh, they want the freedom that comes with learning to drive, um, all that sort of thing. And that's the age when money really starts to matter. So you can help them become money savvy adults by um, giving them some sort of financial responsibility setting the right example and also helping them to manage their their first wages when they get the first part-time jobs so really the sooner parents and caregivers can start talking to their children about money the better it is for everybody do you feel more should be done for children to teach them about money and how should we go about this financial education is taught as part of the secondary national curriculum curriculum in England and also the primary um, and secondary curriculum in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. However, our research does tell us that only four out of ten children can remember having any sort of financial education in school. So that's why it's really important uh, that as parents and caregivers we continue and enhance that education around money and finances. Teaching children about money equips them with the knowledge and skills they need to manage their, their money in the future. Um, and, and, and it's really important that they are able to do that effectively. Children who do better with money tend to have parents or carers that talk to them about money on a regular basis and give them some sort of responsibility uh, for spending and saving at an early age. And if you think back about where you picked up your money habits from when you were younger, did you pick any of your habits up from your parents and caregivers? What good money habits did they teach you? And can you trace those back to your childhood? And what bad money habits did you pick up as well? So teaching children about money will help with their future. Uh, it'll give them a more secure future. 
So the sooner you start to help them to develop their financial skills, uh, the sooner they can start to hone them and their future will be much brighter. Can you tell us about the resources and frameworks for parents so that they can support their child's education in understanding more about finances? As I've already mentioned, children start to learn about money from early childhood and parents and carers have the most important influence on how children deal with money in adult life. Teaching children about money helps them to manage their own finances as they get older. And there are lots of age appropriate ways to do this by keeping it simple and making it fun, which is really important. For parents that want to support their children's financial knowledge, there's a wealth of information on the Money Helper website. That's moneyhelper.org.uk, moneyhelper.org.uk. And we've got specific guides that you can use depending on the age of your child. And they include things to talk about and fun activities to undertake together. There's also a section on fun ways to teach children about money, which gives loads of different things to try. For example, making piles of one pence coins uh, to the value of 10 pence and, and seeing the difference in the amount of coins you need to make the same value of, of a larger amount. So that's quite good to use for younger children. And we've also got a really useful resource called Talk, Learn, Do. And that focuses on uh, parents that have got children aged 3 to 11 and that supports you to talk to them about getting engaged with spending and saving. Um, it's again loads of activities on there and little projects to undertake and again that can be found at moneyhelper.org.uk. So I would encourage you all to go away and have loads of fun with your children, teaching them about money and using the resources that you can find on Money Helper. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks for joining us today. We're here every day this week for Talk Money Week, talking about hints and giving information about managing your finances. Special thanks to Andy from Step Change. Tell us where we can find out more information about your charity. Yep, stepchange.org, that's our website. Lots of useful information on there about managing your finances and also our free online debt advice tool.